How's it going guys, Ailes here and today we're going to repaint the Jazzwares or the Halos Warhog. Get comfortable, relax, and hope you guys enjoy the video. Now let me give you guys the quick rundown of what this set has to offer. The set consists of the Warhog, of course, it's four tires, three gas canisters, it's turret, and it's antenna. And as a bonus, it comes with Master Chief with an assault rifle. And with that being said, let's jump to those before picks. And here are the before picks. Overall, the Warhog already looks good, but I think we can make this look even better. Really underneath the Warhog is what we're really going to be focusing on. But we will do a little bit of work on top, on the top as well. And with that being said guys, let's get started. Before I started to record, I had painted a little bit underneath the Warhog to see how well the paint will turn out and it actually looks really good.
Alright, we finally got the Warhog looking good on the bottom as well as the turret. Now we can start applying the black wash on the top as well as apply a black wash to Master Chief and the tires as well. Now that the majority of the paint is done, I cut some decal to put on the Warhog's hood like some of the in-game models have. And once I put these small triangles on, this Warhog really started to pop out. I'm really, really, really proud on how well this is turning out. And once I got done putting the decal on the Warhog, I looked at the assault rifle and thought, hmm, should I paint this? Mm, yeah, why not? I detailed the mess out of this thing. I even went as far as putting the little digital bullet counter that you see in game. I know it doesn't look really good, but in like those two dots. Hey, I can't even put those numbers on there, so those two dots, just imagine those are the numbers. It's really, really tiny. Alright, here's Chief with a nice blackwash touch up. I also painted his visor to make it pop out even more than it was before. And I also painted the weapons glow that she emits from Chief's helmet that you can sometimes see in game. And here's Chief on the assault rifle.
Here's a nice view of the front. As well as the back. Here's the Warhog, nicely painted and decal. I touched on the shock absorber, springs, dust covers, and brake pads. I didn't want to touch up on the interior as much, so I just painted on the dials and that little hood that sits in the middle of the Warhog. Lastly, here's the front. Now that you guys got a little close up on everything, let's finally assemble this back together. Alright, there you have it guys, a little touch ups on Chief, and an insanely amount of detail on the Warhog. I want to say that this repaint is almost on par with the Tanaka repaint because it took around about 3-4 to four days to complete. And as I make more and more of these videos, I feel like I'm slowly getting more and more better at doing these repaints. Because before... I did have my doubts with the first repaint, which was that Tanaka video. But as I, you know, as I'm keep keep on doing this or doing these, I feel more and more comfortable. Like painting wise, you know, speaking to this microphone too. But I want to thank you guys again for watching the video. If you guys enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. It really helps out a ton. See you guys in the next video. And remember, guys. Have a good one.